हेलो एवरीवन ग्रीटिंग्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर निकिता सुरेश औरंगे आई एम अ फैकल्टी फ्रॉम मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज डिपार्टमेंट फ्रॉम चंगू खाना ठाकुर कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस ऑटोनॉमस न्यू पनवेल सो इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट कॉर्पोरेट फाइनेंस मीनिंग एंड डेफिनेशन एंड ऑल द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट फाइनेंस मूविंग अहेड जस्ट टू गिव यूर एक कैप वट डू यू मीन बाय कॉर्पोरेट फाइनेंस जस्ट लेट इस लुक इन टू बिलो corporate finance is a kind of a financial activity which related to how the corporations or the businesses can raise funds from the people to run their businesses it majorly focuses on maximizing the shareholders wealth by use of long term financing facilities and short term financing facilities with use of in various strategies to implement them into the business to run their business more smoothly moving ahead so these are the major points for the principles of a corporate finance to so corporate finance principles are financing principle investment principle principle of a dividend payment principle of shareholders value maximization principle of risk and return principle of profitability and liquidity optimization principle of working capital requirement and working capital management and internal control principle of the business moving ahead who are doing this corporate finance job the financial advisors the financial planner the chartered accountant are being appointed as a corporate finance manager to deal with the necessary monetary resources utilization and they are taking the financial decision on behalf of a company for the smooth functioning of the organization looking ahead to the financing principle financing principle majorly focuses on how company are going to raise money from the people at a very low cost low cost of an interest rate or low cost of a dividend so that they can retain maximum amount of profit into their business so they are also focuses on minimizing the cost of capital cost of capital capital means the amount which is being raised in terms of a long term or short term funding and the cost means the interest is to be paid on that debt if company is raising the funds so it is basically called as debt so they are borrowing funds from the other financial property persons so they are minimizing their risk by lowering the cost of debt or lowering the cost of finance second principle is investment principle after taking the finance from the shareholders stockholders or the other person or you can say the bank they are utilizing that finance into the various modes so they are some where investing their money into the business operation or by purchasing the fixed assets or by planning to expand their business so this investment principle focuses on how the maximum amount of return they can get by utilizing the proper money to be invested at a very low cost or you can say at a very minimum amount of a risk so this is financing principle moving ahead the third principle is dividend payment many of the shareholders or a stockholders equity shareholders or preference shareholders they are investing their money into the company means company is actually raising finance from the public so these money is being utilized by the company itself so it is the responsibility of the corporation or the business persons or the business head to provide timely dividend distribution to the equity shareholder or to the stockholder according to their percentage of the investment next is working capital management working capital management is the major task or the major problem or we can say the day to day requirement of the business organization where they are utilizing the money on day to day basis means they have to deal with the money cash inflow or cash outflow on daily basis and to run the smooth operation of the business they are using the long term financing as well as the short term financing means whatever the money which being raised by the company they are invested into their business operation and through their investment they are running their working capital requirement or fulfilling their day to day needs of the separate business operation business operation in the sense production operation then planning operation then management operation or we can say in the manufacturing operation then later on to the office operations and selling and distribution and logistic operation supply chain operation there are various n numbers of operation where these funds are properly utilized next the principle of shareholders value wealth maximization shareholders or stockholders 
और इट्स वैल्यू मैक्सिमाइजेशन और इट्स वेल्थ मैक्सिमाइजेशन इज वन एट द सेम हेयर द कंपनी फील्स दैट इफ वी गिव प्रिवलेज टू द शेयर होल्डर बाय इंक्रीजिंग देयर वैल्यू एंड गिविंग देयर टाइमली रिटर्न इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ डिविडेंट दे विल डेफिनेटली कम अगेन टू प्रोवाइड फाइनेंस इन द कंपनी सो विल देन दे विल फील वेरी प्रिवलेज ड्यू टू दिस they will definitely try and come again to invest into their company so company major focus is to maximize the overall wealth of the organization by increasing the wealth of the shareholder if one stock price is for rupees for example 100 rupees a share then if the value is being increased like for example to 120 rupees of a share the definitely the share of the company itself increases if they increases the value of the shareholder next principle is principle of return and risk so there is a proper relationship between risk and return it is being said that it is a direct relationship between the research risk and return so research is being applied where the investment is made risk is where they are investing the money and return is where they have invested their money so higher the risk higher the return lower the risk lower the return so basically more of the corporation target that they have to maximize the return by minimizing or optimal utilizing of their risk ventures next we are going to study about the principle of profitability and liquidity optimization profitability means how much amount of a profit you are going to retain into the business in the form of a cash or cash equivalent and how much amount of liquid cash is being available at the organization so that they can daily utilize that resources monetary resources in a fruitful way so they have to use a proper planning for the proper utilization and channelization of the monetary resources into the different departments lastly we'll discuss about the internal control principle the internal control principle exists in the organization where it is a necessary job of the organization to focus more on management of funds and recording each and every cash and monetary transaction into their financial statement you can say it can be the vertical income statement or a balance sheet anything it is a financial statement which represents their overall financial position so it is necessary part of the financial corporate manager to deal with the management of the funds and to deal with the internal control system so that their overall functionality wouldn't hamper and should be the proper utilization of funds is being utilized and how much they are properly utilizing their fund into the purchasing of a new asset or selling of a new asset or purchasing of a new share or selling of a new shares so these buying and selling of these financial assets can be in the form of a monet uh, can be in the form of a tangible or can be in the form of an intangible asset so this proper control is to be done by the financial manager so that they can return good amount of a profit into the business and to run it very smoothly so these principles we have discussed in this lectures so please study it do hard work thank you so much